John, this is heavy. This is expensive. Uh, but I'm keeping this. No, I'm a man of my word. And technically, I don't own it. But it's yours. So while I hear from lawyers? Um, <laughs> if you don't pick up the phone, you won't. <laughs> Right? Are, you gonna, are you gonna get in trouble for doing this? Yes. <laughs> of course I, am. I can't even go anywhere with the costume. They have like a person, like a yes, person so who it's... travels with the costume and the helmet comes in its own thing and a person travels with the helmet. They're like, here, here's the costume and then here's the helmet. Take care of it. I was gonna say, I was gonna say to you, I was gonna make fun of you. You're like, oh, do you have a security guard? No, you made guard? fun of me enough. Thank you. Yeah. I was gonna say, do you have a security yeah. guard with you? You're John Cena. You are your own security no, guard. No, it's for yeah. the helmet. It's the, the helmet. That is now not mine and wasn't mine in the first place, but now somehow you own. <laughs> I think yeah. it's pretty cool. I might just do it and just host a show with it on. It's actually really cool because the audience gets to see themselves on TV. That's right. Uh, I want to. Uh, it's not frosted tips, but it'll do. <laughs> it's kind of all winners. That's here. the next bet. Uh, we've never talked, we've been on the show, I want to say it was almost 15 times now. Uh, we've known each other a long time. Yeah. And we've wow. never talked about Thank this. Thank you, guys. I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. We, no, we add the applause in later. We add the applause in later. OK, cool. We do that to the monologue as well. Um, we've had you, we, you've been a guest 15 times. We've never referenced the, the You Can't See Me move. Yeah. Of, of where, like, what, like, what is the backstory of it? OK, so for those of you who don't know, get the damn internet. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Of course. I am. Uh, I, I became a superhero long before donning the Peacemaker costume. Uh, yeah. I developed a special maneuver in the WWE called the You Can't See Me, in which I put my hand in front of my face and say, you can't see me. Yep. And the reason I did this is because while we were making the album to which my uh, theme music is on, my younger brother, Sean, was always our litmus test. Uh, he kind of liked the same music and he would never go to the studio with us so we'd come home with our tracks and we'd play it for him and he was ruthless, man. He, wouldn't, he would never be satisfied with any song and he heard The Time Is Now and just did this dance that Tony Yeo did in one of the G-Unit videos. It was like he put his hand over his head and just kind of like bobbed his head like that. Oh yeah, I kind of remember that. And yeah, I was yeah. like, man, what are you doing? That looked like just ridiculous. He's like, no, no, man, this is a Tony Yeo dance is doing this thing. And I'm like, I'll do it on TV. And he's like, I dare you to do it on TV. <laughs> Little did he know, I'll do this on TV. So, <laughs> so yeah. And it I, was before I, that. dare John Cena. So Cedar. basically, basically uh, on a dare, by absolute chance, I went out there and I figured this wasn't visible enough, so I wanted to do this. And the wow. term, you can't see me, is like, well, you're not even on my level. And then, like, years later, it just overcame the meme culture, and now, literally, I'm invisible. People are like, why is, why is Jimmy Fallon talking to an empty chair? Like, that's so many people are going to say that. Yeah, they really are. So I'm invisible now. You are invisible. Yeah. Wow. I, 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 I didn't... On a dare, by accident. Uh, I, I want to talk about uh, Peacemaker. Uh, gosh, it's funny. Thank you. It is, uh, it's insane as well. Thank you. Uh, that's, I mean... Is it you, or is it James Gunn, or is it a combo platter of both? It's James Gunn for sure. Uh, he's such an unbelievably gifted storyteller, and uh, I think his ability to just put together a great squad, uh, pun intended, but yeah. the mind of James Gunn is a... Is but he a, wrote all of these? All of these, yes. When uh, does he have time to do all this stuff? Well, so when we all really got locked down, um, if you saw the Suicide Squad, uh, you know, there's, there's a... <laughs> thank you, but uh, Peacemaker's future is very questionable. And uh, he called me up in the middle of lockdown. He's like, hey, man, I want to do a series on Peacemaker. I said, hey, man, isn't Peacemaker dead? <laughs> and uh, he was like, no, no, I got it taken care of. I said, OK, I'm in. No problem. And I just let him go to work. And he wrote uh, eight episodes in eight weeks. And then we filmed very shortly after that. I will just say this. Here's where you got me. The opening uh, theme song. The big dance number. <laughs> Dude, he's not kidding. Dare the you to skip the intro. Dare the, the <laughs> It, it, you did something that we've been wanting to do is bring back the TV kind of theme song intro, and you come out... Quite too many cooks, but, I mean, it's good. It is like solid gold is what I would call it. Like, this show, solid gold. Uh, it is like you come out full-on choreographed dancing, full-on serious face, by the way. Yeah. Well, and, yeah, I mean, you'll all see it, I hope, on HBO And then every... Every, are we, are we gonna, gonna every cast member... Every cast member comes out and, and introduces themselves, and they're all dancing, too, and doing these... <laughs> it's so silly. I go, oh, my gosh, he crushed it already, the, before the show even starts. Everything's funny. You're, 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 you're a sidekick, your pet. The bald eagle, Eagly. His name is Eagly. Yeah, it is Eagly. 
Yeah, it is Eagly. My eagle's name is Eagly. <laughs> right, so, and can we even explain what Peacemaker is all about? Can we... uh, Peacemaker is about wanting to be a superhero. Peacemaker is a guy who wears a uniform and has a set of skills and uh, some helmets that can do some pretty incredible things. Yeah. Peacemaker is, is an anti-hero because her heroic and true acts of heroism are virtuous. And Peacemaker is heavily flawed. He's a human being like all of us. And he wants so badly to be accepted as his perception of himself, which is a superhero. Yeah. And that's kind of where the humor of the show comes. He's like way out of touch with reality. He's got his kind of own lens on life. He, and in point, doing so, offends pretty much everybody. Yeah. I want to show everyone a clip. Here is John Cena in Peacemaker. Take a look. Why are you in your costume? <laughs> costume. This is a uniform. And it's brand new, so I gotta stretch it out, make it more comfortable before we go on a mission. Maybe I'm stupid, but why would you even want to wear that on a mission? A bright red shirt and white pants aren't exactly conducive to lurking in the shadows. People see this uniform and strikes fear in their hearts. What people? The other people at the village people try out? <laughs> why is there a bald eagle in your car? It's eagle. You guys ordered without me? Eagly is your pet eagle. Yeah. Is your dog named Doggy? <laughs> All right. Do you have a daughter named Daughtery? <laughs> she also have a guy's pet eagle much? Yeah! John Cena, everyone! Peacemaker premieres Thursday on HBO Max! Oh, good. Hey, hey.